be one of the most hardest parts to watch about the movie. But what, are the, what about the film? Well, you know, look at the, the movie really um, does a wonderful job in depicting the, the classic struggle between farm workers and, and growers. Uh, it talks about that classic struggle that, that you know that, that gets you angry and, and, and really creates that righteous indignation and then and then it also shows the conflict between farm workers you know uh, with the debate about would this be a, non, a movement committed to nonviolence or would it be a, a movement that would use whatever tactics necessary to get the victories and so and so that's a compelling story but I think that the part that gets me is the personal sacrifices that uh, that my father made and and, and his family and other people in his situation made you know uh, it brings back a lot of memory it brings back a lot of memories uh, about those difficult times and and you know coming to terms with uh, with a father that, that that's a national figure and learning at an early age that you need to learn to share them with others and so to me I think that's the that's the part that you know that tugs at the heart well thinking about that and going full circle uh, you know looking back at your experiences as a child and now Looking back now in fe as a feature film, what's the most thing that sticks out to you about your life or about your father's work the most? You know, um, it's it's the number of lives that he inspired. You know, he, he just wasn't, um, he just, I mean, of course he was a farm worker, but he was more than a farm worker, a farm worker leader. He's Latino but, and a proud Latino, but he was more than just a Latino. He really was an American hero and what he did was, by working with the poorest of this nation's poor and taking on the biggest and the most powerful industry and overcoming those obstacles, really what he did was he provided inspiration and hope to people from all walks of life across this country that they could get out and make a difference in their communities. And so I, I think it's the impact that, uh, that his work has had beyond the fields. I think that, uh, that that's one thing that we continue to hear when we go out to these uh, screenings and talk to people about how uh, many people have never set a foot uh, a day of their life on a farm, yet they're, uh, they've been uh, profoundly moved by my father's life and work. Well, let's, let's talk a little bit about your work that's continuing from your father's work. Uh, what would you say that your father would think about the, the work that you continued on his behalf and, the, and the, the impact that you made for his cause? Well, you know, um, he had this idea from the early days that workers just weren't workers. He understood that the hardships that, that workers face at the workplace don't end when they go home. Actually, they go home to a whole different set of problems. Lack of a quality health care and access to affordable housing and, 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 uh, and just a whole slew of social problems. So he knew that it would take a movement to address the needs at the workplace in the community. The work of the Chavez Foundation, the Cesar Chavez Foundation, continues to focus on the work that he began in the early 60s. Uh, today we provide uh, affordable housing to over 20,000 people in four states through our affordable housing program that are amenity rich but also provide um, really comprehensive social services to many of the residents. We have our, um, our radio network, Radio Campesina, uh, with 500,000 daily listeners across the three states region that speaks to recent immigrants on a daily basis and we talk to them about their rights and responsibilities but also we remind them and we encourage them to go out and get involved in the civic and political affairs of their communities to, to make this a better place for all. Uh, we do educational work. We have, we have teachers and tutors that work for the Chavez uh, Foundation that go out and help uh, our youth with English language arts and, and algebra and, and we run summer schools for school districts that have problems and we have scholarships for dreamers in the state of Arizona and so we do that work on a daily basis and then also we have the National Chavez Center that has the responsibility to go out and help tell my father's story. You know, uh, we've partnered with the national parks to run the Cesar Chavez National Monument. President Obama established the place that he lived and worked for the last 23 years of his life as a national monument. And so in partnership with the national parks, we help tell the story of an American hero. But also we have different, we work on different vehicles to help ensure that my father's legacy is, um, is passed on to future generations of people and that people can be inspired and learn from his example. And so the tonight's movie that we're going to be screening would be an example of, of the partnership that we have with, in this case, with Diego Luna and, and his production company to tell my father's life and work. Just real quick, just to wrap everything up, 
uh, everything you said very moving and a lot of great work commended to you and your family picking up where your father left off. Uh, what would the National In-Service Day mean to you and your family uh, so uh, for the nation to recognize the hard work that your father put in for the community, for the Latino community? This year we celebrate the 21st anniversary of my father's passing. And during that period there's been commemorations across the country. Many communities hold annual uh, uh, commemorations and celebrations in his honor. There's been streets uh, named after him. There's been libraries and schools and holidays and there was a naval ship named for my father and, and a po U.S. postage stamp and there's been a lot of different commemorations that, that as family members uh, we're very grateful for. But we also understand that if that is to some extent of his legacy, is having his name in front of things and his work not continuing, then it's a hollow legacy at best. And so for us, the best way to honor his legacy is to get people from all walks of life across this great country of ours to go out and to be of service to others. And so we're calling on President Obama to establish March 31st, my father's birthday, as a national day of service. It's a day that we hope that people from all walks of life will go out and they will, um, they will fulfill their moral obligation to be their brothers and sisters keeper. And we think that by doing that, then we honor my father's legacy in the way that he would be uh, most happy with. Thank you very much, sir. Much appreciated. Okay. It's going to be a great showing. It's going to be a great showing.